Mass Appeal on this Thursday morning. I'm Ashley Cole. Right now, I'm in Hartford, Connecticut at the Connecticut Science Center, and I am standing in the exhibit, The Adventures of Mr. Potato Head. Now, you may hear screams and laughter and kids yelling, and that's excitement. Everyone here is having a great time, young to old. It doesn't matter how old you are. This place is fun for all ages, especially when the kids are out of school and you have to bring them somewhere fun. Well, this is certainly the place to come. Now, I came here earlier last week to learn a little bit more about what's new for youngsters at the center. Take a look. The Connecticut Science Center in Hartford has fun for all ages, whether you catch a 3D movie or you visit the River of Life. There's plenty to keep you busy, but for now we're going to focus on the youngsters, exhibits that are designed with early childhood development in mind. We met up with Tracy Shire, Director of Marketing and Public Relations for the Connecticut Science Center, to tell us about these new additions. The newest additions for our younger visitors are scattered throughout the Science Center. So no matter what floor you go on, there's something for those smaller visitors to really see and do that's made just for them. Critter Corner is part of the River of Life Gallery. It's interactive, it's fun. You get to climb through this giant tree house and see live animals along the way and learn about their habitats. Part of the new Critter Corner exhibit is we've added some colorful new fish that can teach us lessons about science and nature and why the fish are colored that way. And kids really enjoy getting up close and personal. The Kids Space exhibit has also received a fun new experience for the little ones. So as part of our 165 permanent exhibits that we have here at the Science Center, one of the new hands-on additions that we have are tiny town building blocks that are part of our Kids Space exhibit. This area is perfect for kids that are seven and under, and it's really challenging them to be active and creative, and it's been super popular, and we're really excited to be able to offer that. And now on to something out of this world. So as part of the Space Gallery experience, we've added a component that will open this weekend that is just for the smallest visitors, and it's uh, a simulation of a lunar landing. And the kids can enter the module, they can pretend to fly it around, they can get out and even make footprints on the moon. As you're exploring the Science Center, be sure to keep an eye out for live science demonstrations. So every day this summer, we're featuring live science out on the floor so you can interact with our staff scientists and conduct your own experiments. So whether it's health related or live animals or something with our robots, visitors are really gonna get to ask questions and explore and be a part of the science that happens right here at the Science Center. And there's always something new to look forward to. Each year, three times, we change out the exhibits in the St. Francis Cares Traveling Exhibit Gallery, so it's always a reason to come back. This summer, we're featuring not one, but two thrilling new exhibits. We have Mindbender Mansion, which is presented by Travelers, which features 40 interactive puzzles plus five group challenges. It's a super popular exhibit that has been here before and backed by popular demand. This exhibit is fun for all ages, at all levels, and um, something that really the whole family will enjoy. The second exhibit that we have is The Adventures of Mr. Potato Head. It's presented by Citizens Bank, and it appeals to the youngest visitors, but there's something iconic about Mr. Potato Head. So young or old, you really enjoy. It's playful, it's fun, and it's not only educational, but it really, it really is just, uh, it's colorful and beautiful and, and something that you don't want to miss. Connecticut Science Center is a really short drive from Western Mass. We're about 25 minutes from Springfield, conveniently located right off of I-91. We have on-site garage parking that's safe and, and easy, and um, definitely there are restaurants that are walkable from the Connecticut Science Center, so we encourage our visitors to explore Hartford and, and make a day of it. You just got a sneak peek at what's new for the little ones here at the Connecticut Science Center. And you also got a sneak peek of the two traveling exhibits that are here until August 31st. We're going to go more in depth and tell you all about those on the show today. One thing is for sure, I get such pleasure out of seeing the smiles on these kids' faces. They're having a wonderful time, and I am having a wonderful time here as well. And uh, stay tuned because the show, all show long, we're going to tell you about all the fun you can have here with your family at the Connecticut Science Center. We are live 
at the Connecticut Science Center in Hartford. Right now, I'm sitting in the exhibit, The Adventures of Mr. Potato Head, and this is presented by Citizens Bank. Joining me now is Brandon Ojeki, and he is the Vice President, Regional Manager at Citizens Bank, and he's going to tell us all about this amazing exhibit. Welcome, Brandon. Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, there are four great adventures at this exhibit. We have one under the sea, in space, there's an archaeological dig, and um, there, there's, there's an, uh, just a whole bunch of things for people to do here, and it's really a, a good opportunity for kids to come have some fun. Now, you're a dad. So I'm you, a dad. You understand the importance of getting the kids out and active and having fun, but also learning. Why is it important for Citizens Bank to support the Science Center and also science education? Well, science education is like the foundation of learning for a lifetime for kids. And so for us at Citizens Bank, we believe good banking is good citizenship. That means giving back to where we live and work. So this exhibit is a great opportunity for us to support science education in our community. What does this mean to your employees and your customers that you're doing this and supporting science education? Well, for our customers, and if you're not a customer, you should be a customer, um, it means they can get a discount by going and liking us on Facebook. There's an opportunity to get their family out here for a discounted price, which is great. But what's really cool is Mr. Potato is going to come out into the community with us all summer long. Uh, we're going to get out with some community leaders and in some of our local branches. So if you're coming down from Mass to Connecticut, definitely be sure to get one of our branches and check it out if you can't make it to this awesome science center. And stop in. Now, I don't know about you. I'm sure, Brandon, that you've had some memories as, with Mr. Potato Head as a kid or with your children. Yeah. And so coming here, I mean, I'm not a kid necessarily, but I certainly had fun walking around. Yeah, I, I did too, actually. Um, I, I have got great memories of Mr. Potato Head. I've designed my whole appearance to look like Mr. Potato Head, <laughs> to be honest with you. But uh, I went around and I, I, there was like a rover over there, almost like we're in Mars, and you kind of scroll around it and see what it looks like in space. But you know, uh, Play School and Hasbro co-created this. They do a really nice job, and I know like Mr. Potato Head is just an icon, and, and who doesn't love him, right? Who doesn't love him? We've both been here for quite a while, seeing the kids running around, their faces, the smiles. It is loud in here, but that's the sound of kids having fun. Yeah, I tried to play, and there were kids asking me to move so they could go on the slide <laughs> over here. But I know I, it's <laughs> I think that you're supposed to be for like a certain age only. It's so said, it, I know you have to kind of sneak around as a parent, but uh, it is a lot of fun, and of fun. it is presented by Citizens Bank. So thank you for bringing this here to for families to enjoy and to this community. Yeah, Citizens Bank and myself, we're just really excited to be a part of this awesome exhibit. So thanks for having us. Well, today. Brandon, it's so great to talk to you. Thank you, you so much for being on Mass Appeal today. And of course, we will be here all show long. There's a lot more to show you and to talk about. You'll want to hear about all the fun that you can have with your family this summer at the Science Center. But stay tuned. We will be back from here in just a bit. For more information, though, in the meantime, you can visit ctsciencecenter.org. from the Connecticut Science Center in Hartford. Earlier in the show, I was live from the Adventures of Mr. Potato Head exhibit. Now, I'm here from Mind Bender Mansion. Now, earlier in the show, we heard from Tracy Shire. She's the Director of Marketing and Public Relations here at the Center, and you got a sneak peek. But now, we're gonna hear all about it. So we're here with Tracy live. Tracy, this is Mind Bender Mansion. Now, the name itself may not tell everyone exactly what it is. Give us an overview. Well, Mind Bender Mansion is an awesome exhibit presented by travelers, and inside, there are all over 40 game, games, brain teasers, and puzzles that you can move through the rooms and unlock these, these puzzles. At the end of the exhibit, you can unlock the clues to become a member of the Mindbender Society. In addition, there are five group games and puzzles where you have to work as a team to figure it out, which is a lot of fun for people of all ages. Now this one right behind us, right here, is Spelling Fever, which I cannot wait to get into. Spelling Fever, it's got a little disco theme, it asks you a little trivia question, and then people will shout from the sidelines what the answer is, and you have to spell the word out. So you are actually like the pawn in the game. So lots of fun, you see people get really excited and heated, and it's just a really great, great experience for everybody. And it's great for parents to see their kids get excited about learning. They're learning something while they're doing this, and look at how enthusiastic they are. I mean, we can hear it, uh, it all is. around us. So it's a wonderful right. way for kids to really get involved and learn at the same time. Sure, you'll see them. They're learning about leadership, working as a team, problem solving, or all of those things, and it's just a ton of fun. You could spend an hour or two just in this exhibit alone. Easily. I certainly could. Now tell us about Feeding Frenzy. That's in the kitchen. Feeding Frenzy, uh, anyone old enough to remember the episode of I Love Lucy, this is where you're working as a team to put the food on the trays as they move through the conveyor belt. And the puzzle pieces are it's a little trickier than you might think. And sometimes it's not the person with the biggest hands that does the best job. <laughs> now in addition to those two hands-on, 
exhibits. There's even two others that are really group activities for right. everyone to get involved in. So the group challenges, um, there's a maze where you have to move the pinball uh, through the maze, and that one, you know, requires lots of teamwork and, and lots of physical ability as well. So I think people are surprised at all the different levels that you can participate in in this exhibit. And there's also something that we may be able to see behind us, and that is the flying machine, which is another way for everyone to get involved and have fun together. That's right. So everyone holds on to their pulleys, and they have to work as a team to move the balloon and land it in the specific holes. It can be challenging and a little frustrating, <laughs> but super, super fun. And there's another really, really fun activity I saw where you have to actually arrange your seats that you're sitting in in a certain pattern. Sure. And you really have to work together. It really, you're using your mind. You are, and it's it's a it's a life-size puzzle. So you're using your feet, you're using your arms, you're you're working with your uh, with the other people inside um, the exhibit. So you'll see families, and it's it's just it's really fun to watch, even if you don't participate in that in that activity. Well, and Tracy, when I was here visiting last week, we saw grandparents in there with their sure. grandchildren. So it's a way for everyone to get together, and that's here at Mindbender Mansion at the Connecticut Science Center. And this exhibit is here until August 31st. All so summer long. All summer. Come puzzle your way through. And we'll talk to you more throughout the show today about a lot of other exciting things that are happening here in Connecticut at the Science Center. Thanks so much, Tracy. Stay with us. In the meantime, log on right now. CTSciencecenter.org for more information. Connecticut Science Center. I'm back here with Tracy Shire. She's the Director of Marketing and Public Relations. Now we've heard all about the traveling exhibit center here, Mr. Potato Head and Mindbender Mansion. Now of course there's a whole entire Science Center that you can explore when you visit. There's even more outside of the Science Center as well. Tracy, tell us all about the Connecticut Dinosaur Trail. The Connecticut Dinosaur Trail is a historic partnership that the Connecticut Science Center is part of. It's in conjunction with the state's tourism, Office of Tourism. And what we've done is we've partnered with four of uh, Connecticut's best dinosaur themed attractions. So it's the Connecticut Science Center, the Yale Peabody Museum in New Haven, Nature's Art, the Dinosaur Place, which is down in Montville, Connecticut, and Dinosaur State Park in Rocky Hill. So there's all four of those locations that you can visit, and you have until the end of the year, and that's with your passport. Correct. So what we've done is we created a website that makes it really easy for people to plan their dinosaur themed summer and beyond. And you, you log on to ctdinotrail.com and you can see the hotel packages and the Dino Trail passport. So basically it's one ticket, you pay one price, and you can use it all the way to the end of the year to visit your these all four dinosaur themed locations. So um, and each one is unique, it's a unique experience, but all are great for families and it's a great value. So for about for about $150 for a family of four, it gets you into all of the locations. And that's another of learning with the entire family, but also having fun. Kids love dinosaurs. They're so interesting. Adults do too. So it's a great way to have that family fun together, make memories, and do it throughout the year. It is. And some of these locations, you know, if you love dinosaurs and, you're, and moms are looking for these things to do, you don't just do one thing all summer. This is a really great way to help you plan. And it will get you several weekends. You don't, you're not committing to any certain dates. You can go when you want to. And, um, experience, you know, nature's art, the dinosaur place has New England's largest splash pad. Um, in Rocky Hill at Dinosaur State Park, you can see real footprints that have been preserved in sandstone. Go to the Yale Peabody and see real dinosaur artifacts. And of course, the Science Center, you know, we've got dinosaurs all over the place. You sure do. You definitely do. I was able to dig for dinosaur uh, fossils and things right outside. So that's really cool, too, is that you can dig and then you can go to the rooftop garden, see dinosaurs up there. And soon, next week, you'll be able to see dinosaurs in 3D. That's right. New 3D movie, Giants of Patagonia, is opening on Tuesday. Always our most popular 3D movies, dinosaurs. It's just, it's big, it's on the big screen. It's a great experience. Unbelievable. So get that passport for the whole family that's good throughout the year. And of course, come visit the Science Center because you'll learn pretty quickly that science is a whole lot of fun. Now, Tracy, people can log on to that website for the Connecticut Dinosaur Trail for more information. That's right, ctdinotrail.com. Very cool. Well, thanks so much, Tracy. We'll be back with you in just a bit. And we're going to let you know all about the great programs that are happening here at the Science Center all summer long. So stay tuned for that.
we're back at the Connecticut Science Center here in Hartford, Connecticut. Now, we're outside of the exhibits now. We already told you about Mr. Potato Head and Mind Vendor Mansion. Those exhibits are here until August 31st. During the summer, there's a lot of other fun things happening just during the summertime months. So it's an important time for you to come with your kids and have some fun. We're back with Tracy Shire. She's the Director of Marketing and Public Relations. Tracy, in addition to all the programs that are the exhibits that are here, you can also have your birthday party here or attend summer camp. Sure. So we offer birthday party programs. We have two new themes ones, the Splash Party and Rocket Challenge, so those are two new birth theme birthday parties you can have here. You can come to summer camp, which we offer. Those are filling up super fast, so if you're interested in camp, I'd encourage you to sign up now. If you're a member, you get 10% off of our programs. And then as a visitor, every day that we're open during the summer, you can experience live science demonstrations on the floor. And it's a range of activities. So it's everything ranging from our live animal exhibits, where we bring them out, you can interact and learn about them. What are some of the animals that kids might be able to see? Well, we've got a, a touch tank upstairs where you can see local creatures from the Connecticut shore. Um, you can touch them and learn about them. We've got bearded dragons and snakes and reptiles. We have a turtle that's kind of famous. He has his own uh, Twitter handle, so come out and visit him. His name is I'm a Box Turtle. Um, so that's part of our live science programming. And then there's a variety of other programs that we change up daily. You never know what you're going to see or where. So we brought out some examples to show you yes, of things was, that we do. I was amazed by Stuffy behind me. That's the largest six-year-old boy I've ever seen. He Tell really that. is. So what's fun about Stuffy this is a way for adults and kids to learn about anatomy and physiology. You can touch, you can feel, you can, and it's not intimidating, and he's, he's just pretty fun, and he's, he's a lot heavier than he looks. So we'll bring him out, and as you can see, the kids kids enjoy it, and you can get an idea of the body systems, and, and it's a great health lesson. Yeah, and it's a, a fun way to learn about the human body. That's great. It's great for kids, and adults, really? too. I mean, yes. I, I can say I'd rather learn about it this way than any other way. So there, there you go. A great way to get hands-on. <laughs> hands now, up. on the other side, of us over here, Tracy. James is demonstrating the Van de Graaff demonstration. Tell us about this and what this does. Well, what's fun about this is it's, it's first of all, it's hilarious to watch because you can see people's hair stand on end, but you're learning about the principles of electricity, and we're explaining that to you and you can learn on it in a hands-on way, and it's uh, something that the whole family can participate in, and we bring it out. It's one of one of the more popular um, life science programs that we do. But you'll see, like I said, there's a variety. These are just two, and, and there are dozens of these activities that we do on a daily basis, and we'll be doing it all summer long. And it will be roaming around the science center, so you have to keep an eye out for these great live science demonstrations. You may be able to handle a, a turtle or a snake, mm -hmm. or be able to see your hands, your hair stand up on end, or be able to see what the inside of a six-year-old little boy's digestive system it's, is like. It's terrific. And then. Um, the last program that we have on a daily basis is story time for our little visitors. So you never know where you're going to see her. Story time. Oh, story time. that's so nice. I would love to do that too. So as you can see, it's a, it's a lot for one day, but you should definitely plan your day in Hartford. Come to the Connecticut Science Center, and for more information on everything that's offered here and all, all that you can see and do, you can visit them online, ctsciencecenter.org. Science Center with Tracy Shire. Tracy, this is a place to come for families. It is so much fun. It is, and it's a short ride from Springfield, so we encourage you to come on down. We've got convenient on-site parking. We're open daily from 10 to 5 throughout the summer. We are closed on July 4th, but come on down, and, and kids under 3 are free. And there's parking right on site, so it's easy to get to with the, with the kids. And, of course, there's plenty to see and do for all ages, no matter if you're a, a little peanut or if you're, you're older, you can have fun together. There is. So we encourage you, please log on to ctsciencecenter.org, look at our list of daily activities, and uh, we'd love to see our friends from Springfield. Yes, absolutely. Fun, exciting, educational, and I am looking forward to going and making my own Mr. Potato Head. Thanks so much, Tracy. So much fun. And as she said, log on to ctsciencecenter.org.